I think that increasingly we tend to exploit before we explore, but what really needs to happen is exploration before exploitation, and that exploration involves creating these baselines so we have an accurate basis for decision making. Our expedition is exploring the Southern California borderland. This is the deep sea off of Southern California between Los Angeles and San Diego. It's a really unique part of the global oceans. It's an extended continental shelf. It's twice as large as any other continental shelf region, and that's because it used to be a triple junction of multiple fault lines that have come together and created this really rugged topography. And these shallow banks and ridge deposits in the borderland have allowed the formation of phosphorites, which are a mineral rich in phosphorus. And we're really interested in what kinds of fauna are associated with these hard grounds. And then we also targeted this region because there are some seamounts just outside that have ferromanganese crust mineral deposits. Our goal is to learn about the types of animal and microbial communities that occur off Southern California. We're actually in exploration mode. Many of these areas have not been visited and studied before, or some of them have not even been mapped accurately. So we're really trying to understand the ecology of these rocky ecosystems, and, and that means we need to document the biodiversity that's there, and then see if things change across depth across oxygen gradients, which we see fairly dramatic changes in oxygen here with depth. And so we're documenting the rock fauna, fauna means animals, at all sorts of different depths. We will be collecting samples of rocks, of water, of sediments, and of the animals that live on those rocks. And uh, we will be bringing these back to the lab. They will be processed in various ways on board ship. Yeah, we're processing one of our rocks from where were we here today? Little Joe Seamount. And so this was from a depth of 2,700 meters. So right now we're going to be collecting the macrofauna, and then we're going to be filtering the water for the macro and myo that we might have missed. And the idea is to get a big picture view of this region, the Southern California borderlands and an idea of how the animals vary across the rocky habitats of this fairly big area of uh, seafloor. One of the major goals of this expedition is to just document the diversity of life in these deep sea habitats. And so um, that's important to know what's there. So we, we call that baseline information. And some of us think about the big things down there. You know, the animals you can see easily with the ROV. But in fact, there's lots of microbes down there and they're just as important for these habitats. It's hard to say that the ecosystems off Southern California are pristine, but there is right now in deep water very little direct human intervention other than say climate change that's happening. Uh, so the baseline, for us involves characterizing what types of animals and microbes are there and how many, which ones are dominant, how diverse the system is. And its purpose is to be able to uh, document change in the future, should it happen. If we uh, had no idea of what is there and then come in and there's already been a dramatic disturbance, we, we don't know what's changed. So. The idea is really to go into places uh, and really document what's there in case something happens in the future. What sort of potential societal benefits could come from leaving these habitats intact, right? And one of those could be, well, there could be a new antibiotic and made by a microbe that lives in this really unusual deep sea habitat. We're seeing already warmer oceans and in many places we haven't had a baseline so we don't really know what impact that might be having on the organisms, the animals and microbiology that is, is there.